I see I got a, some mail. All right, some expired uh, auctions, but that's okay. So basically had everything under batch posting. Do my batch post. Then I wait for it to scan it. As you can see, it's almost there. Alright, up here you would see that it's scanning. Seven, six scans remaining. All right, there we go. So basically, on the right, it would say uh, you want to see something that says, let's see if we can find one. Okay, see that it says lowest price? That's mean the market is uh, is in, in favor with your price in here so if that's the case then you might want to post it but I have three in here in auction so I just skip that my minimum is uh, three X uh, three auctions per per item there we go we find one if you remember, these are the expired one I had before. Usually I sell them to the vendor because I don't want to keep auctioning them. But in this case, I will do it again because uh, motion ribs is really in demand for those doing the quest and cooking uh, stuff. So. I'm going to do two stacks of five. Okay, next one. All right. Okay, this one, this was expired too. And I think I auctioned this so many times already because I remember that. So, you know what, I will sell that to the vendor. Alright, so basic, basically that's all I do. Look for the uh, lowest price undercut, auction them, and sell those that are expired most of the time. And you're good. Now, if you want to understand what it undercut means, it means that the lowest price at the current market is you could undercut it with the same um, amount of auction you have in your auctioneer. Now, this amount is saved by the auctioneer due to the market. So it calculated it by itself, picking the best value to auction it. So in case someone want to undercut the market for so low, then it will tell you cannot match lowest price, meaning someone is selling it for so low, you don't want to sell your items until the market is back to normal where the price is at uh, the average price so it's basically the economy right now is uh, for this item is pretty good since it's pretty good for the consumers or those buying the options then the sellers like me would want to keep their inventory like this item the market fluctuates to 
a higher price. So that's what it basically means by undercutting the price. And as you can see, the default undercut for the market is 10%, which is pretty good. If you want to undercut that to 50%, 60%, I guess you could change it, but I never did. So I never knew how to change it. And so basically my basis of undercutting, doing it manually, is on the deposit. So right now for this item is one cup, I'm sorry, one silver per stack. So that's pretty low compared to the buyout and giving it for 16 gold. Usually in the real economy world, when the, uh, what do you call it? When the cost of uh, of an item is half the profit, then you're doing good. Anything over that is usually cons uh, shows a monopoly power. That's in real economy world, but in the game, it's a different thing. The uh, profit can go hundred times or more and that's normal but there is some item that the cost is too high and yet the auctioneer doesn't see that let me see if I could give you an example um, the reason I understand how economy works is because I'm studying it currently, so I understand how the option works based on the economy of the game. Oh yeah, I couldn't see anything, probably sold it to the vendor. But there are some items that the cost is too high compared to the buyout. So let's say for this item, the cost is um, two golds and the buyout is only three golds so basically your profit is only what one gold and compared to the cost that's not really good you want it to have double the cost which what they call profit maximization in economy but it's up to you really if you want to do it like that. So if you want to do this manually, you're going to watch out for the cost compared to your profit. And of course, if you're reselling, you're going to consider the cost accumulated for that item, which has made me sell the items that are already expired in my, uh, for, my e for my mail. So. Yeah, so that's how I do my um, auctioneer thing every day. And after that, I go to my druid and do some skinning. All right, people, thanks for watching, and hopefully I help you a little bit about this uh, auctioneer thing going on. All right, let me do some wave here. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Alright, bye people. I'm out. This is fucking awesome. <laughs>